The Buffalo Sabres were looking for a goal scorer when they drafted first overall in 1987. Lucky for them, that's just what they got. The Buffalo Sabres have the pleasure and honor of selecting Granby Bison Center Pierre Turgeon. Pierre Turgeon had lit up the Quebec Major Junior League that season, scoring 69 goals. Winning the Michael Bossy Trophy is the best professional prospect in the league. To Smith over to Housley in front, they score! Pierre Turgeon jammed it in right from the goal mouth. His first NHL goal comes in the power play. He would spend just over four seasons with the Sabres, hitting the 40-goal plateau in 1989-90 as a 20-year-old. He was quickly becoming one of the most consistent scoring threats in the NHL. That scoring ability was a big reason why the New York Islanders traded for the center eight games into the 1991-92 season, where Turgeon continued to shine. The right side to Turgeon. Here Turgeon dances it on Ledyard. Goes all the way back in the net. Comes out with it. Slipped away from him. He picks it up. Shoots and scores! Oh, is that pretty! He scored 38 goals in 69 games for the Isles that year. The following season saw Turgeon score a career-best 58 goals and 132 points while being named the winner of the Lady Bing Trophy. In April of 1995, Turgeon was traded to the Montreal Canadiens, who named the Quebec native team captain that December. He would lead the team in scoring with 96 points in 95-96, and Turgeon holds the distinct honor of being the last Habs captain in their time at the famous Montreal Forum. Turgeon would go on to spend five successful seasons with the St. Louis Blues, scoring 20-plus goals every year, including two 30-plus goal seasons. In total, Turgeon scored 30-plus nine times in his illustrious career. He also spent time with the Dallas Stars and Colorado Avalanche. In 19 seasons, he scored 1,327 points, which had been the highest total for a retired NHL player not elected to the Hall of Fame. That all changes now as Pierre Turgeon is an honored member of the Hockey Hall of Fame in the player category. To present Pierre his Hall of Fame plaque is his St. Louis teammate, 2007 honored member, Al McInnes. McInnes. Wow, thank you. Uh, bonsoir, good evening. Permettez-moi d'abord de remercier le comité de sélection pour ce grand honneur. Above all, thanks to the committee for taking the time to reflect on your decision. Kelly Massey and everyone that helped, thank you for a wonderful weekend here in Toronto. To the NHL and its staff, thank you for providing a platform showcasing the world's finest talent and captivating fans across the globe. And I am honored to have been part of its journey for 19 years. Many great memories during my career and a special thanks to my coaches, trainers, teammates, friends and fans from my days with the Buffalo Sabres, the New York Islanders, the Canadian Montreal, the Dallas Stars, and the St. Louis Blues, and, and the uh, Colorado Avalanche, sorry. So as a young man, I was inspired to see my brother Sylvain play junior hockey. And Sylvain was, was picked second by the Hartford Whalers in the 1983 NHL entry draft, and I dream of the same for myself. 
I'm proud to say that we were first and second pick in the first round in the NHL. Pretty cool for two brothers. And throughout my playing days, I had the privilege of receiving advice from, from an amazing man, very sensitive and close to his players and their family, Pierre Lacroix. From age of 11, Pierre and his wife Coco, their son Eric and Martin, who are here tonight, welcome me into their family. Coco, thank you for your hospitality. I am so honored and touched to be inducted into the Hall of Fame on the same night as this great builder. Je veux aussi saluer l'équipe de Jean Deck, Robert Sauvé et Daniel Sauvé, un gros merci. J'en profite pour saluer deux de mes héros, Dave Kion, Jacques Laperrière et l'organisation de des Stadels de Rouyn-Noranda et mon entraîneur de l'époque, André Rasco. Je voudrais aussi souligner mon passage dans la Ligue Midget 3 et dans la Ligue junior majeure du Québec. Un gros merci à tous ceux qui m'ont aidé dans mon développement au hockey. 1987 was an exciting year for me. Thanks to the Buffalo Sabres, Jerry Meehan, and the Knox family for drafting me. What an honor. And for the second time in the history, the Sabres took a Québécois as their first pick in the draft. Je salue ici le légendaire Gilbert Perrault. My former teammates, one who's entering the Hall of Fame tonight, Tom Barrasso. My young year linemate, Dave Anderchuk and Phil Owsley. In 1991, I moved forward to the New York Islanders, playing for Bill Torrey and the legend Al Arbo. Wow, did we learn a lot. On and off the ice, great men, and Al was a dad to all of us. I had my best season in 1993 while wearing the Islanders uniform. And tonight, I greet my trio partner, Derek King and Steve Thomas, and the special, special group we had that year in 93. Two ans plus tard, une transaction m'envoie à Montréal et je réalise un rêve d'enfance, joué par le Canadien. Je, je savais que j'allais avoir la chance de gagner la Coupe Stanley en allant jouer avec Patrick Roy, mon ami Patrick Roy. Nommé capitaine en 1995, grâce à un de mes idoles d'enfance, Réjean Houle. J'ai vécu à Montréal un des grands moments de ma carrière, porté bien haut, le fameux flambeau du tricolore du légendaire Forum de Montréal vers le Centre Monsoon. Entouré de plusieurs grands capitaines des Canadiens, donc Maurice, Rocket Richard et Jean Béliveau. And I then went on to the St. Louis Blues, where I joined great teammates such as my linemate Gret Hall, Grant Fuhr, Chris Pronger and Al McInnes, all members of Hall of Fame. Scott Young, Pavel Dimitra, thank you. Al McInnes, to the conversation we had driving to the games and the way you communicated on the ice, you definitely pushed me to stay on top of my game and I thank you for that. Thanks to Joe Quenville and Larry Pro for great years in St. Louis. In 2001, I chose to test the market, which brought me over to the Dallas Stars. 
A big thanks to our Dallas friends, some great memories for myself and my family. To Coach Hitchcock, congratulations on a great career. Finally, in 2005, I reunited with Pierre Lacroix in Colorado to finish my career alongside another exceptional player and all the famer, my friend, Joe Sackick. I am so grateful that I was able to do something I love for many years. I still love the game. And when I play in the NHL or as a young kid, or even now, for an hour and a half, it feels like doing meditation for me. I get in my own little bubble, and all I think is, where is that black thing? I want it. The only thing, I just don't feel the same when I get up the next morning. <laughs> Je veux saluer des gens qui ont joué un rôle très important dans mon parcours. Jacques Cloutier et sa famille. Benoît Hogg, Donald Odette et mes avis d'enfance, Stéphane Matteau et Martin Bureau. To my family, my parents. Marcel et Nicole, sadly, they're no longer with us and I can't thank you enough for the foundation and all the support we had, me and Sylvain. To my in-laws, Papi and Mammy, Jill and, Jill and Elizabeth, Sylvie, I am so grateful for our relationship and thank you for helping with the kids so I could focus on playing hockey. My wife, Elizabeth, First time we met, 12 years old, on a street in the Rouen. I said to my friend Martin that's here tonight, I will marry this girl one day. And now, I can't help to reflect on our journey that brought us here today. 30 years of marriage, four kids, two grandkids, and you are my best friend. I want to thank you for your support and being an incredible mother. I love you. December 23rd, 2010 was the hardest day of our life. Getting a phone call and that my daughter Elizabeth will never be part of this world again. And I'm grateful for the support from family, friends, and the world of hockey. And what a great world to be a part of. We miss you, Liz. Alexandra Hitwin, Alex. It's so much fun to see you as a mother with Elizabeth and Liam. Thanks to you and Jake for our beautiful grandkids. Dominic, Jaden, thanks for flying from Sweden to be here with us. And Dom, keep enjoying every moment of your journey, and I'm so proud of you. Valerie, it's amazing to see the wisdom you have at this stage of your life. I'm so happy to see you and Garrett here tonight. And as a dad, the greatest gift I could even receive is to have you guys in my life. To the new Hall of Famers, Pierre, Ken, Caroline, Mike, Henrik, and Tom, congratulations. Being here with you guys is a privilege and an honor. Thank you, et bonne soirée.